So welcome back to another video, right? And in today's video, we will be covering something called as build up in options, right? So you must have heard of something called long build up, uh, short covering, short build up and long unwinding, right? And you must be wondering, okay, what is this exactly? So in today's video, we will be covering exactly that. And also as a bonus, we will be uh, adding simple filter options where I'll show you how you can easily filter out these build-up data, not only really for uh, specific indexes, strike prices, but also for uh, all the FNO stocks as well, right? So make sure you uh, watch this video till the end in order to uh, understand how exactly we shall do that, right? So let's get right to it. So coming to uh, the build up data directly. So I'm uh, currently in the uh, option chain of Stolo where we have actually put in the exact idea of what it is, right? So it is actually uh, really simple, but uh, really helpful in order to understand market direction or uh, understand the reversal of the market, right? So for example, here, uh, as you come to the option chain, you can just go into settings and make sure uh, you have turned uh, toggled on your build up and trend right and you can just save the changes so i have actually already done that so i should uh, directly show it to you right so on the uh, column here which is known as build up you can see long, uh, lu so these are short forms right so these are short forms for uh, long build up as sp is short form for uh, short build up right similarly lu you would get for long unbinding and sc would be for short covering. So what is it exactly, right? On quick uh, click of the question mark, you would actually get the uh, theory explanation of it, right? So for example, here, let us take long build up itself. So long build up is nothing but a situation where the price and OI increases, right? So what that means is there are a lot of uh, traders who are very long on the market. So as uh, the OI is increasing, that means many are adding in contracts uh, on the long side as well as the prices going up, right? So that uh, basically tells you that people are very bullish on the market, right? For example, here, uh, you can see the last traded price, right? So uh, the uh, price change, if it is positive as well as the OI change is positive, where you can uh, basically see here, so you would get your uh, LTP, LTP uh, percentage as well, uh, same for your OI, right? You have your OI as well as your OI change, right? So if both of these are um, uh, increasing, that means it is a long build up, right? So a long build up uh, on the call side, uh, that is um, nothing but the buying side. It means that uh, the market is very bullish, right? So similarly, a long build up on the uh, put side me would mean that all the um, traders are much more bearish right so we will come to the difference between the call and put side into build up a little more later or else it will get confusing right so similar way uh, build up as we saw uh, right now long build up long unwinding uh, is a, a situation where both the price as well as the oi decreases right so what this means that uh, people who were bullish on the uh, market are, uh, are um, booking their profits or have uh, changed their view to towards bearish, right? So they start uh, removing their position and hence both price as well as OI starts decreasing, right? So that means uh, the people who were long are now uh, coming out of their position and are now bearish on the market. So now uh, before coming to short covering, which is uh, almost opposite to the long unwinding, we shall come to short build up, right? So short build up is nothing but where price decreases, but OI increases, right? So if price decreases and OI increases, um, it basically means that many are short on the market. They're taking a lot of short uh, positions in terms of um, viewing the market as very bearish, right? And hence um, the market would fall. So that is a short build up, right? Similar to long unbinding towards the long side, we have short covering towards the short side, which is people who were short in the market are now uh, booking their profits or have changed their view to 
bullishness and hence covering their positions right so that what whichever short positions they have taken that uh, basically uh, coming out of that position so that is short covering so how this basically helps you view in terms of market direction or market reversal is that for long build up or short build up you know that okay people or traders are very bullish or bearish on the market accordingly and hence uh, your view on the market or market direction would be in the same direction right similarly for long unwinding or short covering you know that once there is an increase in uh, either long unwinding or short covering you know that there is a reversal go- uh, going to happen as uh, all the traders are not uh, as bearish or bullish anymore right so that is the whole idea of build up so in terms coming to the option chain so the option chain uh, so for those of you who do not understand the option chain make sure you check our other video we have a, a very in depth video on the option, option chain as well where you can understand everything on the option chain as well right so we have something called the trend on the option chain uh, which basically is derived from the build up logic itself right so everything that i have explained it uh, explained to you now instead of uh, you directly understanding or making sense of it we have directly given it here where the uh, column is called trend right so now trend uh, you have to think of it in both terms ce and pe uh, build up is just a direct thing where price and oi uh, is seen as one thing but in trend you have to look at ce and pe separately right so uh, i'll give you one example here and i think you can go through the rest in order to understand how it exactly works right so for example long build up we understood that it is nothing but price increasing as well as oi increasing so now in the call side when price increases on the ce side that's nothing but the call side that means there are more traders who are long and hence the instrument is bullish so that uh, so whenever this is a long build up on the call side you will see the trend as bullish right and uh, for uh, for the same thing in the pe side right when there is a long build up on the pe side it means that more traders are long on the pe strike and hence the instrument would be strongly bearish right so uh, that's how you exactly make sense of it because uh, in options there is i mean in um, uh, yeah in index options or uh, any uh, stock options there is a call side as well as a put uh, put side to it right so you have to uh, take in account of Uh, that particular side accordingly when you're making sense of the trend right so similarly for long and winding short covering and short build up you can uh, go through this and you can uh, directly understand it right so uh, today's example itself we can directly see where uh, there was a lot of short build up right and hence the market also was uh, is continuously uh, falling right so not only um, both call and put side uh, the market trend is shown as bearish right so which tells you which gives you a very good strong uh, market sense telling that it would be a very bearish day today right so similarly from short build up if you suddenly see a lot of strikes going into sc right that is nothing but short covering that means uh, what that is basically telling you is that people who were short on the market are now actually uh, coming out of their position and hence that could be a reversal right so it can move from bearish to either sideways or bullish itself so that is the whole idea of build up and uh, how you can make sense of it right so this is uh, so here on the uh, option chain itself you can directly filter out based on build up data right you can choose either the call or put side or uh, for example here let me just choose the call side and yes and let me choose the short build up right so um, yes as soon as you uh, do click it it would automatically filter and you would see it on the um, direct on the table itself right so similarly for uh, yes the call side if i choose uh, i just chose short build up let me choose long build up So, uh, so yeah, so basically you can continuously filter like uh, this. So I've chosen both long and short build up right now. Let me just untick short build up so that we see only the call side long build up option strikes, right? So you can see on the left side here it directly filters out the data, and you can uh, quickly click on reset to um, uh, 
uh, get back the entire option chain itself, right? So that is the idea in order to filter uh, based on build up data in particular strikes for indexes, right? You can choose between uh, Nifty, Bank Nifty, Fin Nifty, and we've uh, recently added Midcap uh, Nifty also for you to um, basically filter out strikes, right? Similarly for um, basically uh, equity FNO as well, we have built up, right? For those of you who do trade uh, futures in equity uh, as well, this would be a very good uh, tool for you as well, right? So uh, FNO market movers, you can directly find it uh, under analysis and you can go into NSE FNO overview. And once you do come here, you can just click on market movers, right? So here you can uh, first directly filter, let's say uh, for example, here again, I trade only uh, technology stocks. So let's say I trade only FNO in uh, technology stocks, right? Now in technology stocks, uh, I, I in the morning I knew that the market had a, a small sense of downward movement, so I wanted to trade only short build-up stocks, right? So I can quickly filter it to short build-up, and here you would get all the technology uh, stocks that have a short build-up, right? So this would actually help you screen and pick out the exact um, uh, equity FNO you want to trade for that specific day, right? So yes, uh, this is the entire. Uh, topic on build up and how you can exactly uh, use it for uh, your index strikes as well as your equity uh, FNO filtering and screening, right? So, hope you uh, understood it. I tried to explain it as simple as possible. It is a simple concept uh, as well, and uh, hope you do make the most of it in the market, right? So, thank you so much. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel before you leave, and uh, yes, uh, I shall see you in the next video. Thank you.